Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. As you can see, we have more Hyrule Warriors in front of us. I was actually kind of surprised and yet not surprised at all when I got the request to play more of this game because it's pretty goddamn great. And and there's been a lot added to the game even since the last time we have played. Um, how do I, I'm trying to remember, how do I look at the update notes? Is it going back to the main menu? Gosh. There it is. So, um, turns out, Hyrule Warriors has added an update. A new challenge mode has been added. Uh, first is the running battle in Farron Woods, a series of challenges that demand speed in order to attain high ranks. Uh, you can now change the level of the background music. 8-bit Wooden Sword has been added as a new type of Hylian Sword for Link. We already know that one. Uh, oh, duh, those are the oldest ones. Here's the newest ones. So, uh, added compatibility with some of the 3DS DLC that came out a while ago. The Phantom Hourglass and the Spirit Tracks Pack. You can get Toon Zelda and a new weapon for Toon Link, the uh, Sand Wand. And then they also added in compatibility with the Legends of Hyrule Pack from uh, the that was also something from the, DLC, from the 3DS DLC. It includes the Link's Awakening Pack, which we'll get to in just a second. The Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks Pack, which we just had. And the Link Between Worlds Pack, which we'll talk about in just a second. Added compatibility with the Link's Awakening Pack. The Link's Awakening Pack adds in playable warrior Marin from the Link's Awakening game way back when. And then Linkle's new weapon type, the boots. But who is Linkle? Linkle, of course, is female Link, which was introduced in the Legends character pack, which came out, again, during this period of time since the last time we played. It gives you access to Linkle, the Skull Kid, Toon Link, Tetra, and King Daf... 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 As well as Ganondorf's new weapon, the Trident. Adjustments have been made to uh, improve the overall experience. And, on top of all of that, uh, a new challenge mode was added in. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? That I guess isn't really detailed here, but uh, we'll get to here in a little bit because it is awesome. Uh, it takes things to a massive, massive scale, and I'm looking forward to doing that. So, I guess the best thing to do, uh, since we started playing the story mode last time, we got two missions in. I... I think we should go ahead and play one of the... Mm, I don't know. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to play more of the story mode? We can go on into the Farron Woods, and then there are uh, some of the evil missions that we could play. So we could do more of the good story mode. We could do more of the... Or start the evil story mode. Or we could go in and play a little bit of adventure mode and try and uh, see what all the, the fuss is about here. Because uh, I've gotten a few more nodes on here since the last time we played and I'm actually this close to being able to unlock Ganondorf's level 3 weapon so that might be fun to do as well to sit here and just kind of figure out uh, and explain all about the adventure mode map because adventure mode is is super super deep and interesting uh, so I see Kisty wants to do adventure Dan piped up immediately for adventure mode and yeah I guess adventure mode it is then cool uh, as you can see, the last person that I played as was Ganon, and Ganon is the one that is exploring his own world that he just took over. Uh, all of these items are items that we can use to explore the map, as you've seen earlier, and those uh, give you the items that say require search. So as you can see here up in the top corner, we actually have three bombs, one water bomb, which uh, we'll get to here in a little bit, one of the goddess's harp, one flame, and one hook shot. All of those can be used to unlock uh, spe special areas. A network link has appeared. So that means that there is a uh, net, uh, a link that is online somewhere that we could potentially battle in one of the adventures. Uh, and... Gosh. I think... The enemies here have to be revealed. And in order to do that, we have to get one of the Eyes of Truth. Right? I think it is. In order to activate that... Well, Statue of Truth, that's up there in the corner. At least I think it's the Lens of Truth. Yeah, because the Goddess's Heart works on butterflies. The Hookshot lets you climb mountains. Water Bombs lets you destroy aquatic boulders. The Candle allows you to burn trees. And the Bombs allow you to break regular walls and boulders. And I... I feel like there is a secret in here. Like, I vaguely remember there being a bombable area... No, fuck. Somewhere in here, but it's been so long since I played the original Legend of Zelda. 
I would probably have to pull up a secrets map in order to find it. Does anybody have access to that? Real quick. Um, you know what? While, if somebody could find that for me, then in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and... Hey, teeny tiny. Welcome. That's a sweet little girl. She's like, I see a lap. I see a lap that I'm not in, so I'm gonna get in it. Uh, and try like hell to get an A rank victory in this match so I can unlock Ganondorf's level 3 weapon, which would be super duper great right about now. Uh, in the meantime, if somebody could pull up a secrets map for the original Legend of Zelda, that's exactly what we need to be able to get all of the items here. Uh, ooh, I totally forgot. I'm still working on getting the Swords of Darkness up to their final level. Let's do that. It's got 210 damage, uh, which is awesome. And up she goes into the curtain. She loves sitting on my little window that's right here. You can see the curtains just a little bit while well, you could earlier on uh, in the background here. She loves sitting on my windowsill now and just watching all the animals that wander in and out of our backyard. Now that she has discovered that she can. Uh, but as you can see, so this is a nice huge map here that we as Ganondorf have to run through and conquer super duper quick. And we have to do that taking less than 10,000 damage. Uh, the problems that I had earlier with this level were that one, uh, I beat it with, by taking too much damage by taking my time and killing enemies. And then I beat it on more of a speed run where I killed everything quickly, but I didn't kill enough damage. Uh, I didn't kill enough people to get the A rank. So I kind of end up fucking myself over twice. Oh, Toad Boy. Hey, welcome, man. Glad you could join us. And uh, you know what? You do not have to apologize for me, to me for that. Honestly, the only thing that I was really waiting on was the interest, which I know was already there. I mean, let's face it, those those original videos have gotten so much unnecessary attention. I think that first and last video are each sitting at around like 600 some odd fucking views, which is insane for literally just two assholes sitting there talking shit over one of my favorite late 90s computer games that don't really matter to me. Also, here we go on a destruction rampage. Uh, man, manhandler stalks have appeared everywhere. We need to go ahead and take care of them quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because they're going to keep uh, doing seed attacks on my base and kill it more quickly than we would like. Uh, so I, I, can, I can stay up here and I can try and deal with these lieutenants, again, without taking too much damage. But this whole time, they're sitting there railing on the base wrecking it from behind and nobody likes a wrecked base know what I mean so I get I could be quick take out just one of those lieutenants to make sure that some of my people still have a chance of actually doing some good there and run in here and take care of at least two of these manhandle stocks uh, you'll notice that the objective in this mission is actually to defeat the enemy captains those big red kind of poker chips on the map there in order to lure out the enemy commanders and kill him. Skidoosh! Uh, you know Huntsman Ganon is probably my favorite character to play as. The only bad part about Ganon is because his moves are so completely, insanely overpowered. Doing them in populated areas like you will in this map just absolutely tanks the frame rate, dude. Like, absolutely shit tanks the frame rate. And it's kind of really funny. All right, so we got this keep, and we still have one manhandler stock that's sitting there attacking my tower or attacking my base, but nowhere near as bad as it once was. So if we can just be quick about killing this moblin, we should be able to make it over to it before it's had a chance to deal real damage to my base. Remember, like like any other base in the game uh, so long as it's not taken out completely after the threats are removed it'll start to recover you know so you don't necessarily have to worry about it getting all the way down to a sliver I mean even once it gets down to a sliver if you can just save it at that sliver it'll eventually regain completely ha! get out of the way you're not doing that damage to me this time sucker it see it's these lieutenants that do the BS little damage that actually causes you to get up above the, the feasible limit for an A rank, you know? So you kind of have to be really careful about actually legitimately dodging attacks. You dig? Like that. And then you can get in there for the big damage. 
because those armor breaks are really, without having that level three weapon already, the best way to kill these lieutenants. They just have so much tanky health, you know? Oh God damn, that hurt. That hurt uh, more than I really wanted it to. I've recovered more health than you think. And so the amount of damage that I've taken isn't exactly representative of the amount of health that I have. You know what I mean? You find all those health ups every so often. And awesome, one lieutenant down, cool. Rogue forces have appeared on the battlefield. We'll be able to take them over here in just a minute. But first, huh, let's go ahead and take down that last manhandler stalk while doing some damage on the way. Ba -ba 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 -ba! I love, I love Ganon's Musuo so much. It just hurts everything around you. And come here, my pretty. Huh. It says, feed me, Seymour. Don't worry, I'm gonna feed you. And don't call me Seymour. I'm gonna feed you my blade. Skindoosh. Did I kill it? Awesome. So that takes care of the manhandler stock and also it's assault on my base. And now I can go ahead and start ranking up some of the kills here. We're, we're safe for a little bit longer. Um, oh, oh, you know what? Real quick, while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and go down here and claim these rogue forces because the enemies are actually on their way to it and will kill them and or claim them if I don't get there before they do. Thank you. Uh, uh, and there's actually two bosses to kill right now. We go and take care of them quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, and no, sir, not today, Junior. Take my big shiny ball of death. I wish, I wish that I had the. Um, oh gosh, the badges that did uh, less damage in darkness, or maybe this is the lightning-based stage. And I really should have gone to the bazaar and leveled up my armor breaking capability. You know, uh, when that when that little meter comes up, I need to be able to break the bar faster. And we take more damage there. More, unnecessarily more damage. Give me the armor break. Asshole. Wow. Wow. That Stallmaster did like four hearts worth of damage there, and I did not like that one bit. There's a part of me that says it might almost be worth it to restart. But I don't know if I I don't know if I want to. I think I might be able to pull this one out if I just get better. As if that's ever gonna happen. As if that has ever happened in the history of this stream. But we shall see. Oh, and uh, uh, thank you, Toad Boy. I actually didn't see that you gave me the map there. Thank you so much. We will make great use of that, my friend. Damn it. Fucking giant fat ass attack. I hate you so much, Moblins. And he's gonna be exposed. Damn it. Cause see, if my armor break was higher, we would actually be doing half the bar with every attack and we would be able to kill him a hell of a lot quicker than we are right now. Basically, at every time he exposed himself, uh, we would be able to do that big attack. And all of this running around and wasting time would be mostly unnecessary. But oosh. It probably is. Uh, now, my question to you, Kisty, is can you please pull that up and make sure that uh, you kind of help me reference it every so often? Boop. Or really anybody. Anybody can do it. I don't need Kisty to do it. She's she's getting her room organized, getting her office back together. Okay, run behind and boop, boop, boop. Fuck. Unfortunately, we still got hit by it because it does damage in an area around him, like an asshole. And that one has been defeated. Cool. Um, so there is only one captain left, and unfortunately, he's taken over one of my base squares. So. I guess, I guess the only thing that's left for us to do is to kind of rectify that situation. Goodbye, world. Wow. Uh, we killed both of the Moblin captains with that attack, and I can't say that I'm not proud of that. Aw, oh, you cock-smoking motherfuckers. They keep knocking me out of my big damage attacks, and I don't like that one bit. The other one that I need is the badge that lets me um, up my my resistance to knockback, I guess it's called. Okay, come on, let me get him in line. Let me get him in line. Yes, that's the one that I want. 
Boom. But it is. Wow. Suddenly the area has been claimed for the stronger hand. <laughs> nope, that didn't do what I wanted it to do, but at least we were able to dodge it. And in comes the again. Asshole. Really? They fade so fast, that fucking armor break. You saw me hit it, right? It just immediately as I fucking hit it, it the, the, the meter went away. You know, Huntsman, the, the funny thing is, when I moved to Austin, um, we actually had so much stuff that we couldn't take it in one trip, even in a box truck. And so we ended up having to uh, take two trips from Shreveport, Louisiana to Austin, Texas, which was a hearty eight hour drive. So imagine having to do that twice. I think we only did it twice. We might have done it three times. I don't remember, but I think it was only twice. Because the thing of it was, we had to get all of our stuff and then we had to get both of our cars, but I think it was two truckloads worth of items. So I think we took two trips in the truck, and then we actually took one more last trip in the cars. But I could be wrong. And yeah, that was one hell of a voyage, as you might expect. Fuck you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with my ultimate. Because at this point, we basically need to make sure that I have killed enough creatures to get that A rank. Because really, like, we won't know about how much damage I've taken until the bitter end, unfortunately. Oof. Oh, no. The only thing that we can make sure of is that all of the other requirements are fucking met. Really? Really? I am, I am the wielder of the sword of good's bane and you want to actually try and knock me out of my attacks god i hate my own creatures so much why did i make my own uh my own minions so strong excellent so there is actually a scout captain up top there and if we take him out then apparently there won't be any... Oh, Raid Captain. That's not good. The Raid Captains are actually the only things capable of taking down your base pretty quickly. But yeah, if we can go ahead and take out this Scout Captain fairly quickly, then there won't be any reinforcements called. And I'll have killed a fuckload more. That was like 40... Well, duh. 42 KOs in one strike. That is insanity. Awesome, awesome insanity. And... Boop! <laughs> the scout captain has been destroyed! And unfortunately, one of my other keeps is about to fall. It's the one that I left behind in order to go, uh, re you know, save my base after all of the enemy forces started coming for it. The two teams that were down at the bottom of the screen kind of split up and went left and right. The right team is now coming close to taking over a base square. We can't let that happen. Not today, juniors. Daddy's home. Badoosh. <laughs> I need to find out the exact number that you need for the A rank. Uh, I remember getting around like 11,000 and still getting a B. So I'm wondering if it's like 12 to get the A. I'm probably gonna get up to 15, maybe? Which, honestly, I could probably just go for the boss now and still get to 1500. That would have been trapped inside of a lot of damage if we hadn't dodged out like that. All right, one stall master down. Fuck you, you stupid, shitty box. There we go. That's what we were looking for. That's the open opportunity. That's the old stuff. That's the old stuff. Uh, it, 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 and kill more moblins. Whee! Excellent. Excellent, Ganon. Yes! Murder so many people! Wow. 
all the way up to 1300 just that fucking quick and I think we'll go ahead and use my regular attack and take down this outpost spawn more units and mm, before we go and take out the final base let's go ahead and equip the fairy and take this special square because we need a few more yeah we need just a few more kills and this is a good place to get them I think oh god Never mind. I just realized how weak this South Garden is. There were barely any any, any enemies in here at all. Ha -da 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 an explosion damage! Wow, really? That was not enough to kill him immediately? Oh well. Not shocked that we got more treasure, child. Give me that treasure. Give me that treasure. Hey, baby girl. Look at her climbing up her little thing. Oh, you can't see it. So sad. She was climbing up from the inside of her little cat crate. And she looked up at me like, I'm stuck. All right, so I guess let's uh, just run up inside the enemy base here and see how many peeps we can kill before <gasps> Agatha gets destroyed. Yeah, baby. I've been looking forward to this. Let's pluck the wings off this baby butterfly. Insect. Princess? <laughs> I love that even the titles aren't really sure exactly what the fuck is going on anymore. Now it's time to bring up the full extent of my power! <laughs> this isn't even my final form! <laughs> this is. Nope, there we go. This is. He summoned a giant Shadow Ganon. It does insane area damage. And yet, still not enough to take down the enemy base. Ah, goddammit, Agatha. Why? Why do you suck so bad? And of course she can block stuff. Like, of course she can block shit. Why wouldn't she be able to block shit? That just seems like something she would be able to do with her stupid little parasail. Aha! There's the open opportunity, Don. Hey, baby girl! Hey, baby girl. Okay, you know what? If she's gonna use some of her big attacks, then so the fuck shall we. Bad news is, she doesn't take very much damage versus our stuff. She keeps, uh, uh, oh. Like, I keep being able to chip away at her bit by bit. But really, the big ways to do damage are my big old massive black fist right up inside. And of course, the ult. Strike fear into the hearts of little girls everywhere. And hit her again with it. Put some stank on it this time. Skidoosh. I wouldn't want to see stank lightning. But I will say this, it knocked her right into the bomb. So I guess that's as close to stank lightning as we can get. Stank lightning should be somebody's rap name. I'm not sure who it should be. I'm not going to designate that. But if stank lightning isn't somebody's rap name by morning, I'm going to fucking copyright that shit myself. Hey, baby girl. Welcome back. Are you gonna leave me again? You always come and sit in my lap and be sweet, and then you run off. Yes, Dan, she really, really is. She's my favorite kitty. There is no favorite kitty other than mine. Boop! The black hand knows. Oh, God, that hurt. That was a lot of butterflies in my face. A lot of little golden butterflies just showering monarch kisses all over me. Ah! Another opportunity for my big giant fist. Yes. She is get, She is certainly getting a lot of fisting this round. And I am okay with that. Uh, that's right. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Ganon loves fisting little girls. Oh, bud. It's not me. It's, it's Ganon. It's actually Ganon. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we can't really do... A whole lot except either wait for opportunities to counterattack or do chip damage. Not a whole lot of enemies around here for me to charge up my gauges on. But she is almost dead. That's the good news. Bad news is, I need to actually hit her. There we go. That works. And guess what? Big ol' sigil of damage. Awesome. Mission successful. Uh, now the question- hey, I beg your motherfucking pardon, Zant. One true king here. Is that gonna be the A? If it was, I 
think Ganon would be opening a chest right now. I don't think we got it. Fuck. So where did we fail? That's the big question right now. Ugh. So not only did we take forever, but we took 184 too much damage. Fuck. Fuck. Well, we got a whole bunch of weapons in there, so that's nice. Uh, I can go ahead and discard some of these silver gauntlets because they suck bulls. And maybe some of my lesser golden gauntlets, too. Like that guy. And discard. Now, discarded... Wait. Yeah, sure, why not? Discarded weapons actually get turned back into rupees, so they don't just go away forever. We got a whole bunch of materials out of that. Not too shabby. Uh, and you know what, Huntsman? I just, I did play poorly that round. I will 100% admit that. It's okay. I'll, I'll get good, son. Let's go to the bazaar and buy some shit, shall we? Pay for Ganon to get ever stronger in the badge market. Really? Nada? Bupkis? Shit. Alright. I can buy some good stuff from the apothecary, however. So let's go ahead and get Weak Point Smasher, where Weak Points will be killed much quicker. Uh, I'm going to use a whole bunch of these bandages. My god, it requires so many materials, dude. So many materials. Take all of my old rags. Take a lot of my monster teeth. And create the mixture. Nailed it. I guess... I guess let's go back and do it again. God. Okay, so now we know. It's somewhere between 11 and 14,000. That's where we need to get in order to get the A rank in kills. Not too, not too hard. We need to get probably under 15 minutes. And we need to get under 10,000 damage. That's our goal for this match. So let's try one more time. Bye, Kisty. Have a good night, dear. God, we are 441 kills away from these guys having their their locked abilities unlocked. And I want it so bad. We'll definitely get those 400 kills this match. So I'm wondering what they're going to be. If we end up getting that, that, that rank 3 weapon, however, they'll basically become obsolete. And we'll just be able to put them on our new weapon, whatever that is. Anyway. Okay. So now we know. Um, here's what I want somebody to do. As soon as I hit start battle, that timer starts. Okay? If we get to 15 minutes and I haven't beaten the mission yet, let me know. In fact... Let me know when we get to, like, 13 minutes. Let me know when we get to, like, 12 minutes. Okay? Somebody get their phone ready. Somebody get their timer ready. I could, but what's the fun in that? It's, it's, not, a, it's not as much of an interactive game if I do it all myself. So, ready? Three, two, one, go. Ugh, 15 minutes. We have to do this as quickly as fucking possible. So that means killing all three of those outpost captains. Um, and taking out the Mandragora. Keep calling him Mandragora. Um, man, man handler. Stops. As quickly as humanly possible. All the while not taking much damage, which I am failing at already. From these bad guys. Boop. But you see what I mean? I immediately broke the Stallmaster. It would have taken two hits before. Broke immediately. So that makes that a little bit easier of a task to do, don't you think? It does, Dan. You're absolutely right. It, it tasks, or it shows elapsed. It also shows damage taken. Son of a bitch. Well, that's handy. So now we can kind of keep track of, well, when we just need to reset. 
All right, that's enough damage here. I should be able to take him out. Boop. Awesome. So that's a whole bunch more enemies down, and I can go ahead and start taking care of these Mandragora stalks, which, of course, are scattered all the way across the goddamn battlefield. That'll give me an excuse to go ahead and get all the way down to the bottom area early and kill all of the guys down below before we kill all three of the, um, the captains. But that will mean I'll also have to run all the way back up here to take care of them. A task which takes time. Time that we don't have to waste. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and kill this keep as quickly as possible. Did, did, I, did I catch the boss in that swipe? You're goddamn right I did. Sweet. So there we go. And now let's go ahead and skip. You know what? Uh, I'm going to go straight down instead. And see if I can kind of make some time this way. I'm going to take out this moblin that's inside of this base. Or at least weaken it significantly. Yep, I'm already at 200 KOs. I'm already at nearly 300 KOs. And I'm protecting my keep as well. So that's, that's a good thing. Excellent. There's our task. Good night. Really? Not even killing one of them? Oh, I did kill one of them. Sweet. But I didn't kill the second. All right. One, two stall masters down. Just the Moblin uh, commander here. And then we can move on down to the second uh, manhandler stall. Bop, bop. There we go. Much easier to get that time. As you can see, it'll basically just be a two-pump chump for, for getting off that, that awesome secret hit. Bup, bup, which means every time that it's available to us, I'm going to be able to pound his ass with my fist. Yes, I meant that exactly the way that it sounded, especially for this moblin. I hate these moblins more than almost anything else. Yes, I know, my base is about to fall because of those fucking manhandling things, and I can't really do much about it right now. Just hold out for a little while longer. I think it tells me that message when it's at like half health. So we have a couple more precious, precious seconds. Let's take out the Moblin, like so. One boss down. Um, all right, we're gonna cut across and check on the health of our base here. And then I think go down. Yeah, gotta go through to go down. How we doing? Oh, there's raid captains here. That's the other reason why it's getting fucking knocked around so hard. We can take care of that. Bye, raid captains. Did I say you can raid my fucking forces around here? I don't think so. You stop it right now. Cool, so that's more dead. And we can go on ahead and march straight downwards. I call my march the Trail of Tears because that's all my enemies have left when we roll through. Just their tears. That's right. Even the undead can cry at their own redeath. God, I'm not killing really much, many enemies at all. We're only at 300 some odd. Hat, hat, hit, 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 hit. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. I keep listening for that audio cue of the armor break to come up. And then I'm going to just destroy whoever it is that's broken. They will be even more broken soon. As bones should be. Bones, much like promises, were only made to be broken. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh. What? <gasps> we unlocked the skills on my swords. Sweet. I guess because we killed enough uh, uh, enemies. All right. Shit. I need to kill those Mandragora stalks right the fuck now. Literally right the fuck now. And all the bad guys are advancing my base. Which is excellent news, because I need to kill both enemy commanders. And if they're going to come to me, then guess what we don't have to do? Seek them out. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, we're, we'll be back. We will be back for the rest of this, because I want to get up to my base before they get there and kill that last Mandragore up and handle stop.
God, I need to hurry. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. Ganondorf, you better be quick on your goddamn feet because that base is about to fall. And there are commanders that are coming now. Not just regular assholes. Big assholes. Boosh! Wow! That'll help stall him for a little bit. Hey, how about we do that again? No, never mind. All right. Manhandle stalk needs to go. And then the attacks on our base will stop. And we'll be a little bit safer. Boop. Sweet. All the manhandle stalks are dead. Let's go ahead and take this keep. Since the commanders are, commanders are locked safely outside of my base for the time being. So... Mm -hmm. I wanted you to summon the big Ganon Ganon. Summon the big Ganon! Perfect timing. The Keep Boss comes out. More dead. And goodbye, Keep Boss. This castle is now property of Ganon. <laughs> Ooh, the bad news is that's gonna stall that second Moblin Captain and make him uh, have to go through my another portion of my base in order to get to me. Boop, uh, question. 2,000 damage. We're only at six, uh, seven minutes here. Actually, exactly as good as I was hoping for. Oh, baby girl. Glad you're back. Boop. Oh, God. We did, he did more damage. He did more damage. And we did more damage. Bye-bye. She, the cat is like, I just, this is too much. This is too much destruction, even for me. And I'm a cat. It's my job to destroy your things. Sweet. Ever juggle, uh, juggled a moblin before? I have. They're heavy, but it's doable. <sighs> and so, I'm thinking that after we kill this last commander, we're gonna go ahead and kind of go on down uh, through all of those enemies huh, that you see in front of the, um, the enemy base there. You know where the enemy base is. It's the one with the flag and the little castle there. Bye! To at least the the the, the st uh, stall master there, um, and then if we have time, which we damn well should better, um, ah, goddamn, we'll go ahead and take out the fairy square, the one with the lightning in it. Let me go ahead and switch over to that. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, because I've still got a couple of hundred of kills to make up. You know what I mean? But we, thankfully, we have a couple of minutes to do it. I'm not terribly worried yet. I will be terribly worried soon. Yes! Mission is successful. Give me your materials. All right. So, the Al Agathus forces are now all advancing towards the enemy base. We can... Oh, scout captain. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of the scout captain because he's going to call for more troops. What time are we at? eight minutes and 50 seconds and we have taken about half the damage that we could all right the enemy commander's out and it's probably going to take us about two minutes to beat her because because she's just kind of a damage sponge which is unfortunate especially for the sake of my own well-being oh kill him sweet more raid captains dying more enemies to kill and suddenly that was like a, a hundred and a half KOs there in one swipe. Wow! Up to 986. This was exactly the detour to take, my friends and fellow murderers of monsters. All right, wait for it. Perfect. Bye-bye. And we got another level up for that. Sweet. I will take your materials. I have murdered all your men. And we are almost at a thousand. So let me go ahead and finish that up. Awesome. There's a thousand. Now let's go save my base. Uh, the Keep Lord is out in this bottom square here, but I'm not going to worry about that because mine are going to. Um, my my guys are going to take out that square pretty handily, and I don't think we would really have time to do that anyway. Bye bye. They thought they had a stranglehold on me. <laughs> Turns out my hands are way bigger. My strangles hurt way more. Where are you at? There you are, motherfucker.
Oh, he's gonna be weak. There we go. You can you notice that the enemies actually have a big tell when they're gonna do one of the attacks that you can break. The tell is in the eyes. When the eyes glow red, they gon' get dead. Because basically that gives you a little bit of a window to kind of say, okay, this is an attack I need to dodge because as soon as the damage starts coming our way, uh, we can block or we can, you know, get around it. And guess what? Then will be the chance to inflict infinite murder upon your enemies. Ah, hello. She has decided to, uh, to have a serious interest in my tea right now. I'm worried that she might try and drink out of it. All right, I'm actually gonna skip this cutscene because yes, we've seen Agatha come in. You're very, very cute on your butterfly. Don't care, murder time. And now we have the same two pump chump trick for Agatha. You'll notice that we actually are able to deplete her armor gauge in two hits as well, instead of like the four that it was before. Which is awesome, so awesome, cause it only shows up for a fucking second and Time to murder all of her fucking minions to get over that 1200 hunt. Sweet. The good news is her base is gonna keep spawning bad guys. So, so long as I can keep doing kind of this area damage here, bye bye. We're gonna kill a buttload of dudes. Uh, time check 1157. We are sitting pretty. And only 5,000 some odd damage taken. Nice. Just can't fuck it up on this final fight. That's all we have left to do. And then Ganon might have a new badass weapon, y'all. Murder all my enemies. Ooh, just out of curiosity. How do you like me now, bitch? Take my ultimate form. Wow. Form of destroying that ass. And you'll notice we actually get a couple of buffs there while we're while we're you know using our maxed out abilities here and killing a whole buttload of dudes. The more people you kill, the more of those little bonuses that you get. My ultimate form is more than you can handle, little girl. And hitting her with my ult actually immediately armor breaks her too. No matter what she's doing right there, if you use that arm in your magic gauge basically to use, I think it's what like a focus spirit attack or some such nonsense, you know, uh, it automatically inflicts that armor break condition. Come here. Get shit on. And if you do that, uh, then you get a free hit with that. Yay! And now there's a little bit less light in this world. Oh, our mission here is complete. <gasps> oh, motherfucker! That's a chest. That's a chest that's full of goodies. What goodies does it contain? Da 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 da! It's a new weapon. It might be a completely new weapon, but we'll have to check it out later. The suspense is literally killing all of my foes. I must know. I must know. Also, I love how Ganon is totally wearing his equivalent of the golden gloves. And yeah, Ganon doesn't have time for your chest open and bullshit. He just, get the fuck open. Give me your shit. Bum, bum, ba, ba, da, da, da. I am the old and evil. He is such a baller. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. No way, Jose. A, A. Triple A. And that means we have a new treasure. The Swords of Demise. Oh, fuck. A set of great swords brimming with dark power. 280 with six blank slots. Now that is fucking titties. Wow. And we got a whole bunch of uh, materials as well. I think it's time to, um, yeah, I think it's time to get that weapon up to snuff here. And because we unlocked an A rank, this this way unlocked for us. And it has another search here, uh, actually right there. 
the X in the ground. You'll notice that this, uh, this screen didn't actually have a Legend of Zelda secret in it. This one was kind of added in for the adventure mode, which is why it's a little bit more obvious what it is. Uh, but, real quick, let's head to the bazaar, shall we? And make Ganon's a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger, y'all. A little bit stronger, y'all. No, nope, can't do anything as far as badgers. Badgers. Wow, can't do anything as far as badges. We're gonna select our new Swords of Demise. And let us transfer. What did we unlock with the uh, skills here? Finishing Blow, which increases weak point smash damage. Fucking awesome. And Hasty Attacks, where our regular and combo attacks are simply faster. That's pretty fucking sweet, dude. So do we want Finishing Blow or do we want Hasty Attacks? Here's the thing. That's Finishing Blow Plus. It actually increases our weak point damage by a lot. Just standing increases that damage. But we kind of have that capability thanks to the Apothecary. Of course, I imagine it's probably stackable. But there's only so much of a smash point, or a weak point that you can smash before it kind of becomes a moot thing. There is no Apothecary to increase your speed. I think we're going to take this. Because unfortunately, we can only take one. The weapon gets destroyed after you use it. And we're gonna go ahead and take more materials? Yes, sir. Basically, if this is gonna be the weapon that we use all the time, we wanted to have the best items. We're gonna make it uh, give me weapons that have more slots. I do so love those dirty, dirty slots. And I want more experience. Wow. So many good things on this weapon now. Um... Let us increase. Ooh, seal broken by unlocking the power of evil's bane. I need to figure out how that works because that'll be our one last skill that goes on this sword. I'm gonna put darkness. And then once I unlock this last skill on this sword of darkness, that will be the one that will finish out these swords of demise here. And then those will basically be unstoppable juggernauts of destructive force. I am totally okay with this situation. <laughs> Suddenly my Ganon really is the ruiner of days. He's basically the second strongest character now next to Link himself. Only because you play so many missions as Link, he kind of really doesn't have a choice but to be overpowered. Uh, so... Hmm... This mission right here actually requires me to play as Link and unlocks a level 2 weapon of some kind. Uh, if somebody can pull me up that map that was shown to us earlier and maybe tell me what the secret is here. What on this particular map is the secret? Do you have to use the, wh the whistle? Is it the whistle that lets you talk to... I wish it, uh... Let me see what all the items do, but unfortunately it doesn't have that screen here. I don't think I would have to go to the tutorial or something. But, um, what is the secret on this map? It must be that... It must be the shrine, because the enemies are revealed. Mm. So I think I'm gonna have to play one more mission before we can play this one. Maybe two. Damn. Maybe two. Because in order to activate that that statue, we have to maybe play the flute. And I don't have access to the flute yet. I'm gonna. Ha I would either have to go around the graveyard to get there and get it right here. Wow, that's a bitch. That's a bitch and a half. I like adventure mode. I really do like adventure mode because it does seem like an adventure. You have to plan out your moves, you know? The secrets are there to be discovered for you. You just have to figure out how to get to them. You dig? 
Like here. I think it's this square. Maybe it's this square. We unlocked a new reward here. So winning this map with an A rank actually nets Minna a full heart. A full heart, and there's actually a quarter heart hidden somewhere on the map. Kind of nice. That would be a good map to explore. Unfortunately, it doesn't lead us a whole lot closer to a flute. They're both about four squares away from where we are right now, regardless of the direction that we go in. I don't think we've really played as Midna yet, so that could be fun. Let's let's look at our other options here. Uh, and yes, Huntsman, yes you can. Okay, you know what? Fine, that's enough of an interest for me. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you. Well, it wants me to use a water character. And I don't... Yeah, Midna is darkness. Damn it. Damn it. But yes, you can play as Midna. You do use a shackle. And, uh, you actually kind of kick ass. Twilight Midna is pretty great. And you can also have, print, like, the full-grown Princess Midna as well. Those are two of the characters that were added on in a DLC. But I need somebody with Water Mastery. And I think that's gonna have to end up being... Rudo... Or we can play as the Great Fairy. Mm. Okay. So, I'll let you guys choose. Great Fairy. Giant Blade. Or Princess Rudo. Who doesn't suck. I mean, Princess Rudo's pretty good. But I need to beat this with an A rank with Midna in order to unlock... Okay. Dan wants Rudo. Like I said, she doesn't exactly suck. She is the water element that we need. So that could be really fun. But we haven't played as the giant fairy either. And the giant fairy is hysterical. The giant fairy carries along a little tiny Link in a bottle. <laughs> and you just storm through the battlefield, summoning Link out of the bottle whenever you need him. It's awesome. Nobody else cares? Fair enough. All right, Dan. You get your wish. Uh, and yes, you can play as Fee, who is her own blade. But yeah, Rudo it is. Uh, we have a, a decent golden scale here. It's not the best golden scale in the world, but it'll at least get the job done. It's better than a regular weapon. What? Aw, Dan. Oh, well, it's okay. I can exit and go back out. Go back out and go back in. So I think we actually got a really badass giant fairy not too long ago. Teeny tiny. She's lying at the door like, I want to go out. Why are you keeping me in here? You know I hate you. Whenever you're not paying attention to me completely. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so let's try that again. Dan wants to go giant fairy. I'm telling you, giant fairy is pretty fucking worth it. Oh, maybe we didn't. Maybe I misremembered. Maybe, just maybe, the weapon that we have sucks balls. And we probably should go with Princess Rudo. Yeah, that 150 strength, though. I mean, that makes all the difference in the world. Whatever. Six and away, half a dozen another. We'll, all, we'll get to them all eventually, because, I mean, here's the thing. Though, as long as you guys want me to keep playing Hyrule Warriors... This is something we can come back to uh, forever. It literally won't end, you know? There aren't, there isn't enough hours in the day to actually get to the end of this game. I mean, there are, but with all the shit that they've added, it's nearly impossible. Also, Princess Rudo is ridiculous. Uh, she inflicts the water status on most of her enemies, which basically deals that poison debuff. And makes it so that everyone she hits with it takes constant damage. But her strength really comes from the fact that like nine tenths of her attacks are area damage. It's pretty insane. She can sit here and suck all the enemies into the area and then explode outwards in a torrent of pain. 
the likes of which no one has seen in millennia. Now, two Kukos had appeared at West Boulder Keep. The Kukos are fighting for territory. Uh, I know the fuck they ain't fighting for territory on my motherfucking map. Ooh, nice little whirling torrent. And I uh, just realized that we actually have three fucking special gauges for Princess Rudo. <gasps> Look at that, she's like a dolphin. Just springing out of the ground. She's awesome, Princess Rudo's great. All right. And with two Moblins up, two Moblins down, let's jump over the ledge and find out what's going on with this Kuko territory. Um, I see an outpost captain. I see a former outpost captain. Oh, no shit. Wow. So it turns out Princess Rudo actually has what would be called a ranged ability. Uh, if you press that button, the Y button, she actually kind of turns into a stationary turret. Oh my god. Bomb. Bomb. Giant bomb. Both Kukos. Call for reinforcements. It's an excellent thing that I have giant fucking bombs to kill them all. Oh, damn. I actually didn't suck either of the boss Kukos in. That's not good. I wanted to do that. Come here, boys. <laughs> See what I mean? Princess Rudo actually is really fun. If, you, if you're not too worried about, like, doing the most damage the best, you know, and you just kind of want to dick around with somebody who has a fun weapon, Princess Rudo is definitely that character. You can sit there and use these long range attacks, keep knocking enemies back forever and ever, taking out rows and fucking rows of them, and then all of her specials just draw them in. Sunshine, get in here for more death. More kukoi death. That reminds me of um, one of the abilities from Naruto. There's a big shark guy that actually has the capability of creating kind of that big old water ball area. And he dicks people over by making them drown. It's pretty great. For a bad guy, anyway. Sweet, so that keep is ours. Uh, remember, we are still kind of looking for that A rank. So we want to keep our damage taken low and our time to complete quick, you know? Let's go ahead while we're over here take this keep every time we take another keep that's just more enemies that keep getting added to our KO list good night and you know what else I'm gonna do summon wave after wave after wave of furious destruction awesome that actually kills a whole lot more people than I was thinking that it was going to and my little dolphin jumps Slay, bitch, slay. Excellent. Um, why did more powerful enemy troops appear where I am? That's not good. I don't want more powerful enemy troops. I want to kill them all very quickly. Oh, well, turns out I did. Uh, the extra enemy troops withdrew because turns out they were with the big Poe there. Nice. And... Snoosh. Ah, the majestic Zora princess takes yet another keep. And we rescue the fairy of fire, yay! Okay, uh, 500 some odd killed. We need to rescue all the keeps, or rescue all the keeps, capture all the keeps that are high lit there. And we need to take down the enemy base. We're still good on time, I believe, and most likely still good on damage. Crap, that keep is about to fall. That's not good. We need to go and make sure that doesn't fucking happen. Excuse me, Gorons. I don't mean to kill you, actually. But turns out you're a bad guy in this case. So I guess I kind of do. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Goron Captain Duck. Gone. Oh, diddle. I didn't realize that whatever that is taking my base uh, is a lot stronger than I gave it credit for. So we might want to get up there. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Good thing we're a fish. Let's swim upstream. Oh. 
Uh, I actually was reading an article earlier today that was talking about them doing a um, kind of a sequel three comic series. Kind of a standalone three comic series that takes place after the end of the series of Korra. That was sort of going to explore a couple of the loose ends that were left by the show. Hey, baby. What's up? Where you come from? Why are you jumping on the back of my chair like you all violent and shit? You know that ain't the truth. Oh shit! Link is getting his ass kicked by Impa and her fucking moblin army. Uh, time to help out, baby. It's okay, Blink. Your wife is here. That's right, in case you guys remember, uh, forgot, Impa, act well not Impa, God, I keep getting the names fucked up. I'm getting tired. Uh, Princess Bruto was actually engaged to Link during that game. So, uh, I'd like to assume that at some point they got married and had little fishy, smelly babies. Where did Impa go? I was like, Jesus Christ, I lost track of her. That's not good. Did they Huntsman? I didn't realize. Alright, we defeated the Bubblin. So, the more powerful enemy troops withdrew. And we should now be able to take down Impa. I need to kill her. I need to kill her. I need to end her. For all that is holy, I need to end her. Shit. Shit. And of course, she does more damage to me. It's like, all I need to do is make sure that she can't take my base. You know? Of course, I'm, I'm immediately forcing her into my base. But that's beside the point. She's literally almost dead. Cool. So we're good. Problem solved. And I'm gonna go rescue Link real quick, who's currently got his morale way lower than it should be. Oh, wow. Because there is a fuckload of powered up dudes here. I'm assuming that if I kill this Poe, they'll go the fuck away. That's usually the case, anyway. Oh, look, and the Keep Boss appeared because I killed way too many of his people with one fell swoop. And bye-bye. Cool. And the troops with troops. Sweet. Three birds with one stone. You gotta love that shit. Let's go ahead and pick up all these materials that were dropped. And I guess... I guess we're going back on the keep hunt. Uh, I... Mm, I see another powerful boss. Yep. Shit. That's gonna be a big problem. Because I don't have anybody to help me keep these things. Keep these keeps. If you'll pardon the pun. Which I doubt you will because I make them all the time. Boosh! No, Baby girl. Baby, baby girl. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. Well, I guess if you actually go all the way through the end of that game's timeline, technically, Rudo never became the sage because the timeline was reset when the sword was put back in but also link and rudo were never engaged because the timeline never happened you know so there's a couple of there's a couple of loopholes that are involved in that particular scenario okay and immediately here's a goron captain that could have taken back this keep if we left it behind so i need to take him down motherfucker I need to take him down with a quickness. With extreme prejudice. Hey baby, you want attention, don't you? That's what you want. You get no attention and you're like, please, I beg you. It's all I've ever wanted in this world. Did I kill him? I think I might have killed him. Good. All right, so let's go back. Fuck me, I have to go back across the way. I didn't kill him either. I have to go back across the way. Take the one that I already fucking took. How are we doing on time? Nine minutes. The good news is our base keeps aren't actually the ones that we need to keep a hold of. So, is it really that bad if it falls? It's bad if my main keep falls, but... Is it bad if that ancillary, an ancillary one falls? Really? Like, really, really? 
Oh. More dead and defeated. Excellent. That's the move we want. We want to turn into a living wave and just demolish everyone inside of this keep. Fuck yes. <laughs> All right, so this keep is now mine. And it looks like this Goron captain is coming in here to try and take it back from me, but he's going to be less than successful. I mean, I'll stop you when you're wrong, Huntsman. Excellent. More death and destruction. I want to make sure that I can keep a hold of these fucking things after I try and run somewhere else. Assholes. Okay. Come on. Come on. Good. So that Goron captain is definitely not going to be able to take, it, take back that base. I kind of want to swath across in front of the main enemy base and just see what kind of ruckus I can cause. Mainly by doing this move right here. Yeah, that's a lot of motherfucking ruckus. We fucking brought it right here, son. Wow. 1,350 KOs. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh. Jesus. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is where Rudo really starts to shine. It's taking down these huge swaths of enemies. Excellent. Okay, unfortunately, we kind of need to get back up to our main base before we do a whole lot more. Oh, Jesus. Because it's dying real bad. Like, real bad, you guys. And I need to make sure that those big pose don't become big, big thorns in my side. Can I, can I take one more? Do I have time? Okay. Boosh! Out comes the key boss. Here comes the death. And then I've got to go up and save my base. Unless... Unless we just enemy bases down this entire sh uh, fucking affair. And, and don't even worry about it anymore. Link is the only one that's left, though, and he kind of blows nuts. I don't think I want to trust it to the Hero of Time, when really, the Princess of Water is the better one for the job. God, if only I had been able to keep this place. I could actually be assaulting the enemy base right now. Doop. Doop. Get fucked. Get soaked, son. Wow. Keep us instantly appeared. Goodbye. Nah, nice. Capturing all their keeps, weaken the soldiers. Oh, we gotta run real fucking quick. Now that the enemy commander is exposed, I don't think I actually have to worry about them recapturing those any longer. Any fucking longer. But I do have to worry about them capturing my main base. That's like really bad. Here I come to save the day! Yeah! And I actually caught both of them in my special, too. Skidoosh! Looks like I arrived just in time, too. Oh, shit! Maybe that's why so many of my people were getting murdered. Because it's not just a moblin in a big poke, like I thought it was. Turns out it's somebody a lot more dangerous. A lot more cross-dressed. Okay, big pose down. I mean, the good news is she's no longer, like, ridiculously overpowered because we've, we've weakened the enemy, you know? But, ugh, uh, does so much damage to us. Bye-bye. Wow, and we do so much damage to her. We are at that 15 minute mark though. This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be an A, I'm pretty sure. 
that doesn't do enough damage either. God, that armor break did so much more damage than my special does. That's redonkulous. How about that? How do you like my waves? How do you like my waves? She doesn't like my waves very much, you guys. Not at all. No. Not today, Junior. You can play that harp all you want, but the only song that will ring for you is the toll of your death. A dirt. A death mock. A nail. However you want to say it. Either way, you'll do. Okay. So now, our base is saved. Thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. So many keeps are about to fall, and there ain't shit for dick that I can do about it other than just pray that I can beat the final boss. And that it doesn't do like the asshole thing of closing off the gates here if one of these other keeps gets taken. I would be so mad if it does. Like, so super duper fucking mad. Ooh. Uh, don't even matter, because that filled up a special meter, you guys. And we have the King of the Gorons here to murder. Good thing we're really good at killing fire enemies because we are the water type. Wow. That was a whole lot of fish that we just summoned and a whole lot of death that we just dealt. Bye bye King of the Gorons. You thought you had security. Wow. Oh shit, another, yep. Okay, so the good news is there's confirmation. Doesn't really matter. Once you capture all the keeps, they stay fucking captured. And I think that's Darunia just about dead. Can we finish him off with one last special attack? Maybe. Damn. So all the damage is actually done in the whirlpool and not actually on the explosion, you'll notice. But there we go. That's the mission complete. Bad news is we won't get the... Uh, the little precursor of getting an A of getting that treasure chest, you know, because you have you can only get it by playing as Midna We'll have to find out if we got an A after the fight We were slightly over that 15 minute mark though if I hadn't gotten that one fucking base taken from me and had to go reclaim it Or if we hadn't had to go back and kill the people who were taking my base we might have been able to do it in under 15 and guaranteed that A. There's a B and there's an A. Dicks! Dicks, dicks, and shit for dicks. Well, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. And there's a stronger golden scale, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, we got some more equipment, which we desperately needed. Uh, we can use that to upgrade our peoples. The one thing that you don't really get a lot of are, like, good enemy items items from the Gorons the the um oh gosh what are some other good NPCs that you get to fight alongside the soldiers the your link peep your your link items your Zelda items your chic items those you don't get very much unless you play either the evil levels or adventure mode so but anyway well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to call in the evening for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed watching this last hour of uh, Hyrule Warriors. It has been super duper fun to jump back in and play a little bit more adventure mode for you. <gasps> so, from us here over here at twitch.tv slash timleftwitch, and also from teeny tiny. Mwah. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us this evening. My name is Tim Leftwich. You've been watching this on twitch.tv slash timleftwitch. Join us on Saturday when we we'll be playing uh, Bayonetta 2. And the wonderful 101. That's right, guys. We're going to continue on our merry journey on both of those games. And actually kind of keep going with Bayonetta's story. I'm really excited to keep going there. And who knows? Just based on the fact that we're going to start early and go late, we'll probably end up playing more Dynasty, or Dynasty Warriors. Hyrule Warriors as well. So, I hope you all enjoyed tonight's stream. Join us again on Saturday. Same Tim time, same Tim channel. And as always, we'll see you next time.